After a month in the Philippines, we're all packed up in our new level 8 luggage and heading to Malaysia. After traveling for months with only carry-ons, we decided it was time to level up. And travel days are so much easier. Greetings from Kuala Lumpur, the capital city here in Malaysia. We're right next door to the Petronas Twin Towers. We're at the Surya KLCC. We're going to go grab a bite to eat. So let's go. Chinese New Year is a few weeks away here in Malaysia. They get all the decorations here at the mall. We've come down to the first floor. There's a food court here. We're gonna go find some food. $12.91. All right, thank you. We've found, I guess this is a local spot. I, I think it's pronounced Bunkus Kau Kau. It's more of a drink place, but they've also got some food that we're gonna check out. Ordered a couple of the traditional meals here, Nasi Lemak. The kids are gonna try that, and I'm also gonna eat one, and Nicole ordered some noodles. After this, we're gonna head over to the KLCC Park and let the kids have some fun. Got our first part of our order already. It's the drinks, and we got some boiled eggs for the kids as well. So they serve the drinks in bags here, which is interesting, but it's actually pretty cool. You just take your straw, and then you put it into the bag, and you drink it that way. Got the kids some lemon tea, which they have thoroughly enjoyed since we've been here. All right, buddy, I got one for you and one for you, sis. I will help you with the straws in just a second. Daddy, I can open myself. You can open I straws by yourself? Me too. All right, let's see it. Oh, sis got hers. Two different techniques, I see. Oh, I'll finish. All right, bud, you try that tea and tell us what you think. I think it's epic. I epic. sure keep drinking. All right. I got, I guess it's like a tea and a coffee mix. I'm gonna try that. It's an interesting combination. Let's see. They have different options here for the sugar. You can do original, you can do a 25% or a 50%. We went with original on ours. That's interesting. It's like a lemon tea and a coffee flavor infused together. But I like it. And now we have our nasi lemak. It's a rice with some, I don't know exactly what's on top of it, but let's try it out. We got two of those and Nicole got some noodles, which is gonna be coming up soon. Oh, you already got those? I, I think so. Okay, let's open it up and see what it is. Okay, yeah, we already have the noodles. So, so you delicious. just open them up and dump them and they make a pyramid of noodles there. I'm you wanna try them, sis? Wow, it's amazing. You but like it's spicy. Oh, it is? I was curious if it was spicy or not. I think it might be spicy. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you first bite into it, it's not spicy. But the spice comes at the end. And right now it's like burning and prickling on my tongue. Oh, get you some tea. So I'm having nasi lemak, which is the national dish here in Malaysia. <clears throat> it is, it's, it's spicy. It has kind of a fish flavor to it. I'm not exactly sure what the sauce is inside. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get used to this taste and the spiciness once again. I'm gonna enjoy this. What do you think? I haven't tried it. I'm just sorting out white rice with the kids. Oh. <laughs> but it does taste fishy. Are you going to try it, bud? I am. Oh, look. Go for it. Can I try? You don't like it? It's um, a little spicy. spicy. It's a little spicy. No, it's not spicy. Great. You like it, sis? Great job, girl. Is it spicy? Why do you call it spicy? There is a little bit of spicy in the sauce. I know. You got an egg there you can eat though, bud. I'm gonna try the brown part. That's the yolk. Mm -hmm. Good? Get your bellies full and then we'll go play. Not too far, I hope. The price in here is very economical. The total here for this lunch is about $9. Oh. 
Let's go, guys. Pretty good lunch. My mouth is on fire right now. The drink was nice and delicious, though, so I got it a little bit cooled off. But it, the kids finished their teas. They didn't really like much of the food, but we'll go get them a little something else here from the mall before we head on over to the KLCC Park. Auntie Anne's. We found something familiar for the kids. They'll get a pretzel or some pretzel dogs. Just for uh, this afternoon snack, they had a nice nutritious breakfast this morning. We are still working on expanding their taste buds. I think that'll come as we try more and more new foods as we travel, but they still like to stick to their staples. Chicken, fries, some fruits, cheese, yogurts, things like that, but still haven't really been able to get them to try a lot of the Southeast Asian foods. They did pretty well in Bali with like a mi goreng and nasi goreng, uh, but since we've been in Thailand and the Philippines and here in Malaysia, they're not really willing to go outside of their comfort zones yet. They do try things, they just don't like much. We are just getting now a pretzel, and when we finish it, we are planning on going to the park, but I don't know if we have enough time. Why, because it might rain? Yeah. Because it's 100% gonna rain the whole day, it says on Nami's phone, and 70%, and I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, right? Yep. We'll see if the weather holds out for us. Hopefully it will. We'd like to go and let the kids play around at the park some and check out more of Kuala Lumpur here. If it's not raining, we can go on the playground and do a little, and do a little show there. Yeah? Thanks right. for watching. <laughs> Metal. <Metal. laughs> we just got a pretzel. It's cinnamon roll, um, and there's sugar on it. And enjoy. That was cool, they were making ice cream over there. All right, you guys ready to go check out the park? Yeah. Uh, look, bud. No! It's absolutely pouring. Oh man. Our plans are ruined. So today we are continuing our exploration of Kuala Lumpur and what better place to start than the famous Merdeka Square. In this very field was the place where the Union flag was lowered and the Malaysian flag was raised for the very first time in 1957 and the independence of Malaysia was declared. So it's a very special place. And another fun fact is that flagpole that holds the Malaysian flag up there is the tallest in the entire world. Get under there with Sissy. What? I think it's so hot, we'll definitely have to get some ice cream. It's another hot day, but we're out. We're gonna explore Kuala Lumpur some more. We just came from Merdeka Square. Now we're gonna head over to the Sultan Abdul Temple. I think it's close today. Today is the eve of Chinese New Year. Most of the city has gone home or to their family's homes to participate in the Chinese New Year tradition. There's gonna be fireworks every night until midnight for the next several nights, supposedly. Well, we'll see. I think it's at night, baby, when you're in bed already. So we should get to see some fireworks, but hopefully it won't keep the kids up too late. Uh, but it's gonna be a fun time, the Chinese New Year. It's the year of the dragon. I always like dragons, so that's pretty cool. We're trying to stay in the shade because it's hot. What is it, guys? Fishies. Fishies? Fish daddy. There's snakes daddy. and lizards. Snakes and lizards? Oh, beware of wild animals. But look, look how these fish come up. This area is so peaceful and serene. Right along the river here, the mosque is right across there. It is close today, so we're not gonna make the trek across the bridge to check it out any closer. We got a good view of it from here. Right behind me is another structure for the Sultan Abdul Ahmad. Said that four million bricks were used in the construction of the building and they were tossed up two at a time to the brick layers and not a single brick was dropped. That's hard to believe, that's a lot of bricks, four million bricks. But who knows, maybe it's true. Back here, 
We have currently the world's second tallest building. I don't know how long this is gonna last. I think there's one in construction right now that's gonna surpass it, but still pretty cool. Along with that and the Petronas Twin Towers, the skyline here in Kuala Lumpur is quite impressive. There's a cool painted building by the water here where we're walking along the boardwalk. Sammy spotted it and said, Daddy, that's a fake building. <laughs> because when we were in Mexico City, they had buildings that were painted, that were under construction, and they thought that they were fake. But this one's real, it's just got a cool painting on it. We're gonna make our way along this boardwalk over to the Central Market, which isn't too far of a walk. What'd you get, sis? Uh, one of these. Oh, that looks yummy. I know, I'm gonna try it. All right. What'd you get, bud? The same. Hang on. One of those two? All right, yeah, we're gonna go cool off. All right, it's gonna get cooler, okay? <laughs> so you are though, we're passing out. Thank you. Thank you. All right, sis got her a little sweet treat here, and now she's gonna try it out. Bite it though. Is that a yes or a no? Are you gonna finish it or no? You don't like it? What's it taste like? First. Chocolate with cheese. Chocolate with cheese? Oh, you gonna try it now, bud? <laughs> I think that's a yes for Sawyer. You like it, bud? All right, enjoy, buddy. No, 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 I'm good for now. You wanna try it? Is it, as Sammy described, chocolate with cheese? It's cream cheese with like a pie outing and some maybe melted Nutella on top. It's amazing. Get to some AC, guys. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Don't blow Sawyer away. Oh, no. Oh, no, sis. It's blowing sis away. Wow, this place is quite large, but we're gonna go find some ice cream. We've made our way up to the food court. It's on the second level, pretty easy to find. And we found some ice cream. Kids got some vanilla ice cream. I got an iced mocha. It's got some ice cream on top of it. Nicole got a Diet Coke. It's gonna cool us off a little bit. Now the kiddo's gonna try some ice cream. Try it out, bud, and tell us how it is. I think I like this vanilla one more than any of the my more than any of the vanilla ones I ever had. In yeah, my that's life. your favorite. Yeah, it almost tastes. Yes, it almost tastes like coconut. Coconut. I'm coconut sure. ice cream. Uh, yummy, yummy. All right, sis, you try it out. Oh, you're already eating. <laughs> All right. What do you think about it? Yummy. Double thumbs up with a with a foot up. All right. All right. Enjoy, guys. Nicole's retrieving mine now. Here we go. <laughs> I got my ice mocha. It's got a ball of vanilla ice cream on top of it. Let's try it out. Oh, that's delicious. You want to try it? Get you some ice cream in there, too. I think we should get some ice cream and some coffee. That's a great idea, bud. Nicole's not usually a fan of coffee, but she likes this. I'll share it with you. Thank you. All right, so you can see how hot it is. This is reading 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 106 degrees. That's pretty hot. The weather in Kuala Lumpur seems to be either scorching hot or pouring. <laughs> this is what my dad used to do when, when he was a little kid. He used to mix it up when he, into, into it melt it like milkshake. That's right, bud. Mixy, mix, 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 mix. Doesn't mine look yummy? 
What about mine? He's like spreading a whole milkshake. All right, we got nice and cold off here with our ice cream. We got some water to drink. We're gonna walk around here a little bit and then we are heading over to Petaling Street over in Chinatown. We're excited to check out Chinatown. Show it to me, bud. It's blue. Your favorite color. Oh, very cool. You got one too, sis? All right. Mommy, do you want one? I have some Oh, uh, Sawyer already got me one. Oh, uh, beautiful. Yeah. Hey, you guys. I want to take a quick minute and tell you all about the new Level 8 luggage that we got. I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we have our new Level 8 luggage. This is the Voyager collection. I want to tell you a few key features that really sold us on this luggage. First, we have the aluminum alloy handles. These things are great. They are the full width of the suitcase, which is cool because it allows you, check this out, full 360 degree spinning. You got really quiet wheels. When we're pushing these through the airport, it's nice and quiet. It's a nice sturdy construction so the kids can even ride on here if they want, or I can sit my backpack on top instead of carrying it on my back. They have these built-in pre-approved TSA security locks. The zippers are magnetized to the lock and it's a key code that you enter here. If TSA needs to open the bag for any reason, there's a universal key there that they can use to access. These come in different sizes. We have the 28 inch and the 20 inch. We may be upgrading the 20 inch to another 28 inch here in the near future because we've loved having the large suitcase. If you guys are familiar with our travel style, we're basically minimalist, so we do a purge each time we go somewhere because we gather a few things that we can't keep with us because we don't have space. This allows us to travel with more than we did when we just had our backpacks and our wheeled carry-ons previously. Since we've started using this level eight luggage, travel days have been much easier. They're still hectic. The kids still get a little bit irritated, but now that we're able to just push our luggage instead of wearing it on the back and the front and, the, and pulling two things in the back while the other one holds the kids, Level 8 luggage has made our lives much easier. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check out the different collections that they have. Again, this is the Voyager series. We've loved it. If you're looking for a solution to luggage, level up your luggage game with Level 8. We've got some cloud cover. Heading over to Chinatown now, we're going to go to Petaling Street and check out the market. Sawyer's looking for some new sunglasses. Those are pretty cool, bud. Are those cool, dude? He was one of the sunglasses. You like those, bud? How much are they? Negotiate with him, Sawyer. I give him 20. He said, okay. He went from 25 to 20. All right, bud. You want? You want? So, are you show me your sunglasses, bud. Okay. They are orange. They're polarized too. They fit pretty good. They look cool, bud. Those are polarized too. So you know what? Those will look really cool. Those help in the sun a lot. There you go. You know what? Daddy needs some sunglasses too. I still haven't replaced the ones I lost from the Tuk Tuk when we were in Bangkok. Those are too small for me, buddy. I'll get some bigger ones, but thank you. One of the shows that the kids like recently is Mr. Bean. Either the cartoon or the old school Mr. Bean or the movies. And they've got teddies here. 
We usually spend about a month minimum wherever we're going, and we tend to accumulate a little bit while we're there at each place, so we have to purge every time we leave somewhere. We're trying to teach the kids how to negotiate a bit here. I think Sammy just got a price knocked down some. What do you say, guys? Hey, how much did you talk him down on that? Wait, how much did he give him again? You only paid 40 instead of 60. You talked him 20, ring it down. There you go, that's the way to negotiate, guys. Hi. Oh, that was What's sweet of him. Name? My name's Mr. Bean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My name is Mr. Bean. Can you hold these? We gotta be very careful or the kids are gonna start negotiating everything that they try to buy. And we're gonna end up buying a lot of stuff. But I think we're done buying things here. Might get a little bit more to eat, but this market's got a lot more to go. Let's go check out the rest of the market. They can also look into stuff. They can They're like x-ray vision? They, yeah, they can do like all kinds of super cool stuff. That's awesome. I want some glasses like that. Okay. Will you share those with me? No, they no. only do it to me when I wear them. Ah, glasses. okay, I see. Because I'm special. Well, they look super cool on you. They match your shirt. <laughs> Everyone's asking for Teddy. I also like Mr. Bean. Shake Oh, I found some cold drinks. The water we got earlier was not cold, unfortunately, so it's still pretty hot. I'll hold your teddies. It's a hot day, huh, guys? I want to drink from this one. Mmm, thanks, sis. You can always buy new drinks. Sharing is caring. Okay. <laughs> I'll drink it at the same time. Uh -huh. yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yes, you guys are doing a pretty good job for being so hot. You guys are hanging in there. Good job. Fist bump. Teddy wants a drink. Good job. Give Teddy a drink. All right, let's go. Sorry, it's going for banana. chocolate bananas. Banana gift your pet. My sister doesn't like bananas. Oh, I did, but yeah. now I don't. <laughs> What's your name? My sister's buying an iPhone. And my sister's buying an iPhone. And my sister's buying an iPhone. Yeah. This one is <laughs> eight ringgit. Eight ringgit. That's fine. Yeah. That's mine. I'm getting a okay. cooked banana with chocolate yeah. on it. Yummy. Banana. I hope you like it. It's a lot of banana. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yeah. My gosh, okay. how many is she putting in there? I give you much. Okay? <laughs> oh boy. Ask her where she's from. Where are you from? Indonesia. Indonesia. You're from this city? No, Indonesia. Oh, where, Indonesia. Do you know what's what's in Indonesia? Uh, you want? You want to try Indonesia? We were in Bali. Bali. Yeah. Kakak, yeah. I'm from Bali. She's from Bali? Yeah. She's from Bali, guys. Yeah. Do you travel the world to sell this? Or do, yeah. you, or do you stay in this city and sell this? She stays in the city. Oh, now she's putting some cheesy on there. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of cheese all right there. Does that look good, bud? Yeah, it looks very good. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough of cheese. <laughs> no more cheese. All right. Hey, Money first. <laughs> keep the change, keep the change. No. Oh, dia kasih katanya dua ringgit. Ah, you give Kaka two ringgit. You give the Kaka two ringgit. Yes. Yes. Two ringgit. Say, okay. say six ma. Six ma. Okay. Six ma. We weren't expecting to get chocolate banana with cheese on it for dinner. <laughs> Which one, guys, do you want me to eat? Whichever Which one you want. You Just want. pick one and eat it. I'm gonna eat this one. Yeah. You don't like it? That's you a lot of. Swallow it? Hang on, maybe he changed his mind. You don't like it, but that's a lot of chocolate bananas that need to get eaten. Oh man! But I guess I'll try it out. Oh, they're cold. I expected them to be warm for some reason. It's not bad. If the bananas were warm, it would be much better. But I'm not gonna eat it. I don't want it. 
and it'll go in the trash. We went all the way down Petaling Street where the markets are. They made it kind of hard. Once you start on one side, you kind of got to go all the way down to get on the other side. But we come down a couple streets, and here is where all the food is. What's this, salami? Looks like it. This is salsa she likes. They're going to cook it up for, I think it's just pork salami. Sorry, do you want some broccoli? Is that a yes? That's a no. A no? Okay. Alright, Sawyer changed his mind and he will like some broccoli and some cauliflower. So I got some pork salami sis is gonna try. Sawyer got some broccoli and Nicole got some cauliflower. Got some fresh cauliflower. Use a little salt, but it's otherwise really yummy. Oh, teddy! Sawyer chopped his teddy. Yeah. He'll live, buddy. Try your broccoli. Don't put the whole thing. Bite. I think he likes it. That's one thing we don't have to worry about him eating, is broccoli. Good job, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I haven't had this before, but it looks pretty good. You can do barbecued fried lock lock. You pick a uh, protein or meat from here, and then they fry it up for you. And then there's all kinds of other stuff over here, seafood, vegetables, that gets boiled. All right, sis, let's try your sausage. Yeah, I kind of like it. Are you going to eat it? Why not? Enjoy, baby girl. You want me to videotape you eat that yeah. broccoli? Can you, can you get that video off of me? Daddy, I don't want this. I don't want that. All right, we're doing a new video. You ready? All right. <laughs> Silly boy. I lost it. <laughs> Enjoy your dinner, guys. All right, guys, we got dinner for the kiddos. We'll figure something out later for us. Probably just a smoothie for the evening. I'm not hungry. We ate a pretty decent sized lunch before we headed out this afternoon. It's been a very exhausting day exploring Kuala Lumpur. It's been a very hot day, but I'm glad we came out. I'm glad we got to explore some more. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you in the next one. Bye.